before we get started with the video, I would just like to say I am not sponsored by K12 or Mel Chemistry, which is what we're going to be using today. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing a little bit of science from Mel Chemistry. Once again, not sponsored. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, guys, without further ado, let's get this puppy open. Our kit and today it looks like we're going to be doing oxygen. Guys, we have two different ones we can do. We could do burning in pure oxygen or blue bottle. Blue bottle. Or burning in pure oxygen. Let's get our supplies out. Okay, guys, without further ado, let's get to it. Instead of putting all the supplies out, I decided to put them in the handy dandy box to keep it all nice and organized, which is what you need around when you're doing scientific things. So, guys, anytime you are doing any kind of science experiment or research, you want to make sure you have the proper PPE. As some PPE, today this is what I'm using, safety glasses and latex gloves, which you don't need, you can use safety goggles or regular glasses, and any type of gloves will work. So let's get to it. Okay guys, for this experiment, you're gonna need your proper PPE as in safety goggles or glasses and gloves. I'll put the gloves on in a minute. Before we get started, make sure for the disposal of it to dispose of solid waste along with household garbage. Pour solutions down the sink, wash with the excess water. Pretty simple. Don't gotta go kill grass on this one. For this though, we're gonna need our handy dandy plastic tray. So, for this one, it says that we're going to need our beaker. We're going to have to take some warm water, a bottle of glucose, and methylene blue. Hey, it says we're going to have to put our warm water right about to this 60 mark. So, let's do that. Look, it's a little over. No harm. Dump it out. Do you get the right amount? Next, it says to put a whole bottle of glucose in there. So, let's get our glucose out. And pour a whole bottle in there. A full bottle of glucose in there. Okay, let's put a whole bottle of glucose in there. Okay. So now that we got that poured in there, next it says to put in five drops. Of our blue methylene. Eight. Here we go. Let's open this up. Next, it says to put three drops of your methylene blue. One. Now we 
close that back up, fasten it tight. Next, it says to put three big spoons of the NaOH. Let's go Let's get a put in our three big spoonfuls of NaOH. Go. put five drops of methylene blue. Easy fix. Just got to add the extra two drops. So, so go ahead and add those real quick. Okay, guys. Now that we got that in, we're going to put the top on and we're going to shake it. Make sure it's all in there. And we're going to let it sit for one to six minutes. Let's let that sit. what happened but the thing is there's even though the solution is now devoid of oxygen the air in the flask still contains some so all you gotta do is just shake the flask to dissolve it and see what happens and we're back to blue time to head over to the lesson okay guys welcome to the lesson portion of this video. So, in a chemical reaction, a reductant is the substance that gives slash donates electrons, while an oxidizer is the substance that gains accepts electrons. For example, in the reaction between glucose and meth methylene, methylene blue, glucose is a reductant Reductant white methylene blue is an oxidizer. In the reaction between the colorless form of the methylene blue and oxygen, oxygen is accepting the electrons that the colorless form of methylene blue is donating. But why does glucose donate its electrons directly to oxygen? Sometimes one substance cannot transfer its electrons directly to another. In this case, they need an assistant that can interact with both substances in the experiment. 
Anyways, so thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe, turn the post notifications on so you get every single video that I post. And let me know what you think down in the comments. And without further ado, that's it. See you next time. Punky Studios, out. Anytime you are doing a science project or experiment, really.